pretty much line for line. Um, my only curiosity is that usually when uh, terrorists like this, if, if it is, if it is terrorists, hit a soft target, something like this, in and out, like you're saying, normally what they want in order for their MO to be recognized worldwide on the stage for terror is to hit a hard target and go down swinging. And I'm 100% behind the ball here when they say, or when I, I say this, they are, uh, if it is terrorism, they're, they're setting themselves up for fear in the homeland, fear in the small countries, fear in the small communities, fear in the small houses, fear in small town America, in order for them to strike a harder target where we will have a replica of Paris here in the United States. Well, wait a minute. You're saying they hit a soft target to distract us? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying they hit the soft target as just a precursor to continue to strike fear in the hearts of America. I, be I believe that based well, on... You, look, let, let's, be, let's use common sense. You know who they are. We know who the strangers are. We know basically who the strangers are. Why is law enforcement unable to preemptively detain them? I want to know why. Well, and I'm, I'm, I'm with the last caller as well. I've not been doing it as long as him, but there's absolutely no way that they got that intel that quick unless it slipped out of someone's finger somewhere that already knew or had a headliner to the intel before it even got out. Or unless it's a false piece of information, unless it's not even real. Breaking news, a man named Farouk Said is a possible suspect off a police scanner. This came to us from a Twitter at the news on the minute. We don't confirm it. I can't confirm it. Maybe it's a fake story. Very Maybe it's bad. not even real. That's very possible, too. But you remember when all the nonsense went down with Snowden, he flat out said out of his own mouth, he said, there's, they, there. I'm sorry, we just lost this gentleman listening on the Internet. There's no other story that I can talk about. This is the only story we should be focusing on. You want to comment on it? Do you think it's terror? Okay, let's put it another way. I want liberals to call me. We're going in the other direction. It's not Arabs. It's not Muslims. Who is it? I want one liberal to call the show and give me your conspiracy theory about who did this in San Bernardino and why. How's that? Does that work? Let's be fair to the conspiracy theorists amongst us or to the wild speculation that's rampant in America right now amongst thinking, caring people. People who think that we have a fellow traveler in the White House, a crippled government that sympathizes with ISIS or covers for ISIS, that has let ISIS metastasize to the cancer that it now is. Let's put that aside. Who else could have done this? Ask yourself a question. Who else could have done this? Tell me who else could have done it. My mind is drawing a blank. Who else could have done this? Who did this? KSFO, Lou, fire away. Who do you think did this? Michael, if I were an investigator, my first suspicion would be ISIS, just based on the color of the vehicles, the color of the outfits, the masks, the MO, the whole, the brutal MO of attacking helpless people. Uh, so that would be my first uh, guess. Yeah, but we have no further information. We're not even hearing from survivors whether they spoke a word in English whether they said anything uh, uh, in another language or what they may have said as they were killing the people? Yeah, and it begs, we don't know. This vehicle, we just don't know. Vehicle for some time. And if well, the vehicle's, apparently the vehicle's been abandoned now. They, the vehicle has been abandoned. That means that they're on the run somewhere and they will be caught. <clears throat> don't you agree with that? ISIS has been telegraphing this for a long time now, promising that they're going to do it. Meanwhile, you have Obama acting like he's got all the time in the world to wipe him out, just going at a snail's pace over there. Oh, he should have been impeached years ago. This man is a disaster for this country. I don't know how many more people have to die until this man is impeached. I know we don't have an opposition party. I know we have no opposition press. But the fact of the matter is, this terrible situation, we don't even know who did it. And I want liberals to call the show right now and tell me who could have done it other than, uh, let us say, a terrorist group. No one will call. There's not a liberal in New York City, the heart of insanity, the land of Woody Allen, the land of Larry David. There's not a good liberal lawyer out there who wants to call that loudmouth Michael Savage and put him in his place and tell us who did it. Who did it? Three rabbis in black outfits. Oh, there you go. I'm sorry. It was three Zionists who did it. That's right. That's the same Zionists who brought down the World Trade Center. Let's hear some conspiracy theories now. This is crazy.
people in the building for a Christmas party, machine guns, SUV, escape, not a shot fired at the SUV? Where was the helicopter? I'm asking the same question over and over again. I'm going to keep looking. i got to take a quick commercial break. I'll be right back with the news conference right here on the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com, the only company I trust to protect my wealth and financial future. Call 1-800-289-26. Well, I'd like to say we have breaking news, but instead we have someone speaking as if on cue, as though the script was written by Hollywood. Barack Hussein Obama has given a speech about guns. Let's hear it right now. It's one line long. Now Let's hear of it. Mass shootings in this country that uh, has no parallel anywhere else in the world. And there's some steps we could take, not to eliminate every one of these mass shootings, uh, but uh, to improve the odds that uh, they don't happen as frequently. Uh, common sense gun safety laws, uh, stronger background checks, you know, and you know, for those who are concerned about terrorism, uh, you know, some may be aware of the fact that we have uh, a no-fly list where people can't get on planes. But those same people who we don't allow to fly could get, go into a store right now in the United States and buy a firearm, and there's nothing that we can do to stop them. Uh, that's a law that needs to be changed. Uh, and so, you know, my hope is is that. Um, you know, we're able to contain this particular shooting, and, and uh, we don't yet know what the motives uh, of, of the shooters are. Uh, but what we do know is, is that there are steps we can take to make uh, Americans safer, uh, and that we should come together. One of them would, I'll tell you, partisan. there's one step we could take immediately to make America safer, which would be to have President Obama resign. That would be the first step to make America safer. The second step would be to stop all, all, absolutely all immigration in this country. Stop it on the, on the dime till we know who's coming in. Then we could start deporting those who we know are on the watch list, throw them out of the country as fast as possible. Those would be intelligent steps rather than seizing guns. My friends, <clears throat> we are living in extremely dangerous times. We have an extremely dangerous administration. It's a government that rushed to judgment immediately and blamed guns without even knowing who the shooters were. Now, what if it was ISIS? What if it turns out to be ISIS? or an, an ISIS uh, affiliate or offshoot, will he say we should ban the Im all Muslims in America? Use common sense Muslim control? Look, this guy is a dangerous demagogue. Here comes the news conference. I doubt that we're going to learn anything we already don't know. You want to run the feed for me, Robert? Can we run it down the line? Let's uh, see. We it. have uh, Chief Jared Baguan from the San Bernardino Police Department. All right, well, let's turn it night. off. It's going to be another dog and pony show with no information. None whatsoever. If we, if there's anything new, believe me, you'll you'll see it before you hear it on my show. They can't say anything, and even if they could, they wouldn't. Let's take a Democrat and his opinion on this. I have only forty seconds. Kim on KSFO, what's your opinion? Go ahead, please. Uh, when I was in college, I took a lot of sociology classes, and I remember being told at the time uh, that during, and like for instance, in the Industrial Revolution. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, Kim, I have 30 seconds. Make your point, please. No, no academic exercise. You know, what's happening now is the result of, in my opinion, globalism. Why haven't we beaten the terrorists at this point? We've been in the war since 9-11, correct? Well, because you elected Barack Obama, Democrat, liberal. Why are you asking about globalism? The man hasn't lifted a finger against them. It's all a fake war. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Warning. The Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. Well, now it's 14 dead and 14 wounded, 
automatic weapons. No report as to the ethnicity, nor of the background of the shooters in San Bernardino. I just watched the press conference. There was one indicator, though, that leads me to believe it was a terrorist attack, and that was the FBI agent said, we have no reason to say this is a terrorist attack, but there's no reason to not say it, he said that. Now, the FBI usually immediately says this is not a terrorist attack. Their MO is always it's not a terrorist attack, and we've all talked about how absurd that is. In this case, he said we can't rule it out, which means that it probably is. In addition to that, rumors are spreading across the Internet that the San Bernardino shooting is an ISIS terrorist attack. It's a rumor. It's a rumor, in fact, that one of the perps has a name, and that name is Farouk Saeed. We don't know if that's confirmed or denied. Twitter users also spreading rumors that someone with the name Farouk Saeed or Farouk Saeed was the suspect. Been reported on Twitter, being picked up by other sources. WCBM News picked up on it. Farouk uh, Saeed, some are saying it's a rumor, some are saying it isn't. But meanwhile, the people who did it got away. That's what I'd like to know. How did they get away with this? They fled in an SUV. They abandoned the SUV. And now, where, where are the people? Where are they hiding? The San Diego Union Tri Tribune reported that Riverside Police dispatchers, and I'm quoting now, have unconfirmed reports the suspects were male and of Middle Eastern origin. They had AK-47s and body armor. Now, I'm going to go to the San Diego Union Tribune for you on the Savage Nation. And I will see what they're saying myself, because I read it to you from another another source. Well, there is an article about that. Bodies on the floor, okay, specific numbers. But you read down on the article, and you do find that rumor in that article. There's no question about it. But the police certainly can't confirm that. Military style attire. But again, no conversation about what they may have said or not said while they were shooting, if they said anything. But this attack on a center for disabled people is very disturbing on several different levels. Levels, And the fact of the matter is for the president of the United States to use this tragic situation to push his sick left-wing agenda just shows you what a low life he is. What a low man this man is. He's the lowest of human types. Before they even know who did the shooting, he came out with his gun control message. And if you haven't heard this nauseating sickness emanating from this character in the White House. We're going to play it for you now on the Savage Nation. Let's go and listen to it now right here on your local station. Yeah, we have a pattern now of, of mass shootings in this country that uh, has no parallel anywhere else in the world. And there are some steps we could take not to eliminate every one of these mass shootings, uh, but uh, to improve the odds that uh, they don't happen as frequently. Uh, common sense gun safety laws, uh, stronger background checks mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and you know for those who are concerned about terrorism mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. you know some may be aware of the fact that we have uh, a okay, shut him up no fly shut this talking dummy up i can't take it anymore sorry sorry to be disrespectful to the presidency but i don't consider him a legitimate president i think this man's actions indicate he's nothing but a left-wing fanatic who is occupying the president's office Every situation in this country is used by him to push the, the radical left-wing agenda. Now, I'm not going to go into the whole gun control issue. I think that we've discussed it too many times, and it's a dead end. When Sotomayor was appointed to the Supreme Court, she's extremely to the left of center. During her hearings, I distinctly recall her saying, when she was quizzed about the Second Amendment, she said the Second Amendment is established to do a we have the sound. I'm not going to bother getting it. Sotomayor, as unqualified for the Supreme Court as possible, when asked about the Second Amendment during her uh, hearings, she said, the Second Amendment is established in the And she quoted the case. How come if she knows the Second Amendment is established in the the community organizer doesn't know that the Second Amendment is established in the I think that the president could have come out and said, we'll get to the bottom of it, and it turns, if it turns out that it's immigrants or refugees that we just let in, we're closing the door. We want to, we want to calm you down. We're not going to bring any more of them in from Syria till we know more about this case. We're stopping the importation process right now. We're sealing our borders. You would have cheered. You would have said, thank God he's come to common sense. Thank God the government's going to protect us instead of this. 
12 dead now. Was it 14 now? 14 now. 